Hey, you. Yeah, you right there. Oh, yeah, you. You know what? I would really appreciate you going subscribe to my channel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please do it. <laughs> press that bell button. Check that off. Guess what? Hit that trick shot, press save. Oh my gosh, the cringe is real. Thanks for watching. Uh, 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 eh, eh. Yo, what is going on, guys? Revised here. Thanks for watching. So, I have a bunch of requests uh, I've seen all in the comment section. And uh, I want to take care of this one because I've been busy with my project. I have two of them to do, and I'm still working on them. Um, this one should be fairly simple. So uh, I want to teach how to make a jump cooldown. Now, whenever I first seen this comment, I was thinking like a GUI that uh, whenever you jump is going to be like a cooldown GUI, you know. But then I just read it more and it's like, you know, it doesn't deal with the GUI. I just thought of that at first. Um, but a jump cooldown, that should be fairly simple. So uh, let's get into it. So let's see, how, how can we start off? Um we can start off maybe with a local script so in starter either starter pack or starter GUI I'm gonna right click insert object and local, local script so the local script is going to only work on the client so which is the computer like their like your computer my computer you know it wouldn't work in the server um, so we're going to name this uh, jump uh jump let's let me open up this text file uh jump cool down cool down all right so let's go into the script all right so we're gonna make a variable called local jumped equals false um so what we need to do is use user input service and detect if the player is pressing the space key now there are, I think there is another way um, I think there is another way to do this humanoid humanoid state type let me see I spell, I spell type wrong humanoid state type I think this is another way of uh, doing it let's let's check it out uh, jumping Oh, yeah, right here. The humanoid has jumped. Check humanoid that jump. This state lasts only briefly. Wait. That. Okay. Whether the boolean, where, whether the humanoid is jumping, if set to true, it will cause the humanoid to jump. Yeah. Um. Let me just check this out. Get state and change state methods. Hmm. Change state getting up. Okay. I'm just kind of looking through here. Um. Well, hopefully you guys learned something new. There's a wiki right here, and then, uh, you, you know, you can try using, uh, messing around with the change state thing. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to use user input service. So let's make another variable, local UIS, which is going to stand for user input service equals game get service user input service service right so now we're going to do uh, user input service dot input began let me zoom in and connect that to a function okay it's gonna take a parameter of the input right um, I put input I don't know why right here it's input began and then colon connect and connect to a function so input began is the an event of user user input service so um so now we're going to check if input dot key code key code oops code is equal to enum dot key code 
key code dot space all right so it looks like there's some called space which is right here we put then uh so this is going to happen whenever we press space um at the very top before uh before any local script, what we should always do now. One day I might forget this in another tutorial, but we should always have repeat wait until game dot players dot local player dot character. So this is gonna repeat this one line, and we just add a wait until uh, it finds the game goes in game dot players dot local player. Local player is the client, and then we get pretty much like the client's player, and then which is like your own player and then dot character it just gets the character so it just keeps repeating that this one line until the character is not nil so pretty much means it's true it found it all right so um let's 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 run play all right so let's go inside our character so as you can see i can jump uh, user input service is not a valid service let me check on this right quick is a user input service. Oh, I see service. I forgot the R. Okay, I put service. All right. So as you can see, we can jump. Now inside a character, uh, there's some called a humanoid. Uh, now there's jump power, which if this is set to zero, we cannot jump. As you can see, we cannot jump. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to what we can do is set the jump power to zero right away whenever you join the game and then whenever you press space it's gonna set the jump power to true I mean not to true it's gonna set it to um, as you can see whenever we set it to something it's actually gonna make us jump Whoops. Never mind. I thought when I reset it, because it, it had made me jump. Um. So whenever we press the space bar, we we can uh. Hmm. Let's see. So if we press space, then we want to set the jump power. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going going to make a variable, local player equals game dot players dot local player, local char which is going to stand for character equals player dot dot uh, character. I'm trying to type without looking at the keyboard, and I'm just messing up. Okay, so let's do char find first child humanoid ah all these random keys I'm pressing I hate my keyboard I'm using a laptop keyboard humanoid uh, so we're gonna go we're gonna find the humanoid inside char and then we do dot jump power equals 50 so what we want to do is up here we're going to change it to zero just so whenever the player joins the game you they won't be able to jump alright so let's check out what's going on behind the player so as you can see jump power okay we're getting an error let's check this out uh... so to read this error it goes player dot player one oh we just read in blue it says line two of course so line two um and it says even right here line two and it shows the script name attempt to index global char so it can't find char uh so the reason is i didn't even notice this we're going to copy this line now the problem is char right here this is the variable char can only be accessed at the bottom of it uh we could just do a global char so it can be accessed over here but it's always better to keep your variables local but I mean it would still work it should so we're just going to put it down here alright let's try it again we're almost at 10 minutes thought it would be pretty quick 
Alright, so it says zero. Press space. It sets it to 50. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to wait point one. Then we're going to set it back to zero. Okay. Um, so what, what we also need to do is since we have a variable called jumped, we're going to check uh, if uh, we press space and jumped is equal to false. Now, if you guys ever see, there's two ways of going about this. You could either do and jump is equal to false. This whenever I say and equals is equal to, that's what I mean with the two equal signs. We could either do that or we could do not jumped, not jump, not jumped. Now, do not add the is equal to false. Now, don't do that. That no, don't do that. <laughs> Because uh, another tutorial, some person did that. They left it in the comments like, I mean, that wouldn't work. So we're just going to keep it at not jumped. It's the same as and jumped is equal to false. Uh, then we're going to set jumped equal to uh, jumped equals true. Then we're going at the bottom, we're going to set it back to false. Um, now... So think about it. So whenever we jump, the first time whenever we get in the game, we jump. It's going to set it to 50. We're going to jump at the jump power of 50. It's going to wait 0.1. Uh, we're just going to add a weight there just to make sure we're able to get the fully jump. Let's do 0.2 just in case. We're going to set it right back to zero. Now we're going to want to wait. Now this is going to be pretty much the length, the time of length like you want for the player to jump again so how this is gonna work is the player is gonna be able to jump and they have to wait five seconds until they can jump again oh I forgot I'm just noticing I f we need to change that to false so change this to false so we want to set it back to false so that we can because whenever this checks whenever we press the space bar uh, whenever input began if we check for the space bar and not jump so we're checking if jumped is equal to false so that's why we need to set jumped is e jump to false just so this if statement can run again you know and it keep keep running after five seconds All right. so we're before we jump we're going to go inside the humanoid All right, so jump power zero as you can see i can't jump i'm pressing space okay there i was able to jump i'm pressing space bar and this, of course, would work if we reset. So cool. My animation, I'm a bad animator. But I scripted. Pretty much almost everything in here I made tutorials on. So I'd be sure to subscribe to be notified whenever I make new tutorials and stuff. Um, I make some pretty cool tutorials, you know, pretty decent. Um, I do a lot of request tutorials, like this tutorial I made, of course. Pretty cool. You get equipped at a sword whenever you walk in. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.